One, two, three. It's your host Tony Cole. Today we got a special guest on Einstein Hustle TV, coding Capo man. What's good? Capo, how you been bro? I've been good, you know, just chilling. Doing my thing out here. You know, it took me a while to get in touch with you, bro. What the fuck? How busy are you, man? <laughs> how busy are you? Yeah, I, I just be doing shit, you know. Like, every day I'll be making music, always writing shit. Right. And going out a lot. Capo, like, for the individuals that might do not know, how long have you been making music for? I've been making music since I was about 12. Now I'm 18. So it's six years strong. Yeah. Six years strong. That's the dedication, ladies and gentlemen. Capo, do you got any like mixtapes out so far? So far I don't have any mixtapes out right now. Right now I just only have singles out. Alright, singles. Yeah. And where do can they find your music at? Like music? You can find my music on SoundCloud, you can find it on YouTube. I got one music video, Pablo. That shit's like six years old, maybe five. Alright, but it's still there, so yeah, you make sure check, check that it shit out. out. And what is your SoundCloud account? So for the full the Cody Capo. Cody and Capo, SoundCloud. Me personally, I listen to a few of your songs, man, and it's just like a different sound. Sound. And I also notice like you do music like not for like a fame or like a music like, yeah, not, income, yeah. but you actually doing that as passion. So like, that's also like, a big thing. Is that like true? That that's yeah, what the rumors passion, are right yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> the yeah, cap was nah. doing it with, for the passion, not for no hoes, man. Don't get Only it twisted. Only the because if you if you're doing this shit for the money, like a hundred percent, this shit isn't gonna work out for you. Like this shit's not for you then, because if your heart's not in the music, then people aren't gonna feel the emotion you're feeling when you're spitting those rhymes. You need to actually put your heart into this shit. Or the, if you're in it for the money, then you're never gonna make the money. Cause you feel like you're making music for the people, so you yeah. gotta be connected with the people and with the content you put out. A hundred percent. Yeah, that's real shit. Capo, like, who's your favorite rapper? Like, if you got one, that ain't gotta be in order. Give me like a few names if you could. Lil Wap. Lil Wap, seriously. Lil Wap. He, you know he's an upcoming artist right now. Wap he's signed to uh, uh, Gucci Mane. Yeah, ten seventeen. Ten seventeen. Man, this guy is crazy. I'm scared of that motherfucker. Yeah, man. yeah, wow, 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 wow. Who else? I like, uh, now you talking about like, originally, when I was growing up, like, who was my favorite rappers, or like, now? Like, currently, I was Currently? Saying. I like DMX. Okay. I like, you know, NWA is up there, definitely. It sounds like a... Uh, Migos. Migos. Migos is, is definitely one of my Did favorites. Did you listen to the culture too? Did you just yeah, come up? Yeah, it's just fire. Make sure you cop that too. Yeah, and Migo, man, cop me the yeah. check after this interview. <laughs> Give me one more, just three. Um, Trippy Red. Trippy Red. That motherfucker real trippy. Trippy. If you could, in the whole industry right now, who would you want to make a uh, song with? Riff Raff. No way. Riff Raff. Bro, you mad unpredictable. I Cody and Castle? Cody and Capo. Mmm. I see the vision. You know what? A music video will be dope after the yeah, trip. Most definitely. So what do you see yourself like in a few years from now? Because I know you you steady doing your thing and you steady grinding and that is why you on Unsigned Hustle TV right now. You know, staying tuned with the fans and just letting you know what you know, Cody and Cap will be doing. Basically my plan is to try to network as much as I can with right. as many people as I can and try to get my music out as much as I can just to the right people yeah, for the that's right That's the right years. plan. It's who you know, ladies and gentlemen. It's who you know. Yeah. And you know, make sure you stay humble. Don't be too cocky out there. <laughs> Capo. Yeah. Where are you originally from? You from New Jersey? I'm from New Jersey. I'm from Towns River. Brick. Brick Towns River. Yeah. It's sweet out there, isn't it? Like, I see psych rap. Yeah, it's like fucking slums, kind of Spanish. Have you went to high school? Uh, nah, I went to high school over here. I moved mm. over here when I was a little younger. And then, uh, basically, I went to middle school, high school here. What do you see, like, New Jersey as a state, like, what are we at in the hip-hop right now? Honestly, we're not doing as much as we should because everybody's not working together. 
everybody in Jersey is honestly about focusing on their own music when if we were all working together we would have been able to push this shit and been made this a spot for rap. You know it kind of sounds like New York because New York they all yeah. about their own little yeah. <laughs> Brooklyn, Queens, New York they act like, like it's a whole different state. Um, but unity is definitely the key to mm -hmm. a better success. 100%. Okay. Also, people want to know what is your Snapchat in order they follow you and my Snapchat. like all the pictures and comment all the pictures and stay in tune with them shows. <laughs> Let me see, because I'm pretty bean. <laughs> I forgot that shit. Um, okay, Gay Chopper Boy to get you guys the Snapchat exclusive. It's my name. So, you're going to have to type in Mark Volante. M-A-R-K-V-O-L-A-N-T-E Hey, I will put it somewhere on the video for you guys to, you know, copy and paste it. Because you gotta get that shit. And also, Shit's lit. And also, let's not forget, an IG account. IG account is, uh... You gotta know your IG account for hard. You can't book that like that. I'm being... <laughs> okay. Cody being. Capo, that's it. Cody Capo, that's it. On one only. Capo, I know you don't have no mixtapes. Mm -hmm. You think you're gonna drop an AP first, or are you gonna drop like go? You, or you go straight for the album or mixtape first? Honestly, I'm gonna go for the right singles, cause that's what's gonna make me. That's what yeah, I think. You, go, you wanna is get the attention make me first, get the most attention. Yeah. Right, right, right. That makes sense. Because. If I put together a whole album with the following I have right now, like it's strong, I do have a following, but I don't have enough people to where it's like, if I drop an EP, everybody's going to listen to every single one of those songs. Because realistically, you get Drake's new album, you don't listen to every song. You're probably going to listen to the two, three bangers that you heard that are hot. <laughs> yeah. That's right. So it sounds like you want to like find your sound first, and once you develop your own sound that people attract to, you will develop a, what a whole yeah. project for them to fuck with, with every song that's on it, correct? Yeah. I see the vision. I see the vision. And I don't like the fact that you only have like one video on YouTube listening. Any yeah. video cameras, any directors that are watching this interview hit me right up. now, hit me up. Hit this guy up. He hit got like a thousand songs, but but no visuals and. He's willing to have a visual, so if you're watching this the visual and you got crazy. talent, please DM me or DM him on his social media accounts or my Gmail personally. Thank you. And Capo, yeah. any shows coming up soon? Have you been on any, like, um... Shows? Show, shows. Okay. Like, you've been performing a few times. I've been performing right. since my freshman year of high school. So, my first show was with Uno the Activist. Hey, shout out yeah. to Uno the Activist. Shout out man. to Uno. Uh, is he still on a dog in your opinion or he's mainstream? Because I can't even tell right now. He's still low key. He's, he's like, like not in that between, many right? Know him. Yeah. Right. Now, in my opinion, he, he's mainstream now. Yeah, I've known him for yeah. so long. I've known, yeah, I've, known, I've been listening to him for like years. Almost five. Yeah. Shh, that's what. <laughs> Shit flies. But. There is more shows. Yeah, way, my second I, I show. I met a few of your promoters and, you know, they talk about booking, you know, coding capo. And, yeah, no, nah, my second show was with Kenny Turnup and Jay Stash. Okay. That was uh, in New York. I don't even remember what fucking club that was. I was mad fucked up. <laughs> but at least you <laughs> performed, right? That's what yeah, we had. That shit was lit. Then my next performance was at... Honestly, I don't remember, but it was, I remember who, who was the main performer, and I think it, that was, oh, it was Young Simi, Young Simi, yeah. I don't know who he is. He's you out of Texas, yeah. In Texas? Yeah, he's out of H Texas. Houston? Or? Yeah. That shit was fire. Shout out Young Simi, too. Would you like to go South by South next year? Yeah. I mean, upcoming. Yeah. I'm here, I will say that. Yeah. South by South, man. Mm -hmm. It's a great place to be at as an upcoming artist because you get to meet a lot of great people. Go Dream Capital, man. Who is your favorite producer? 
when it gets to making you know beats favorite producer if you got one or like how do you get your material that you write to straight off youtube or maybe you have someone else i honestly just write to no beat mm. like so, so I, you acapella before yeah well, i don't have a beat in, unique, yeah i don't have a beat in my head or anything but i write and then i put that to a beat so I just find the right beat, cause then I could just decide where I want that. That's impressive. Most people just 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 hop in now and they try yeah. to they do a little wheezy style yeah. and just go in. But that's that's unique. Tap, when the fuck I'm gonna see you again, and where do you think you're gonna be in that position when I see you? Next time, uh, I'm gonna be rich as shit. <laughs> that's the first thing you said, rich as shit. <laughs> Okay, I copied that. And probably in a different state. We're not gonna stay yeah, in Jersey. Nah, it's too cold out here, man. Yeah, no, nah, it's Jersey. too cold out here. I mean, I'm gonna make it in Jersey, but then I'm gonna have to leave. I'm sorry, Jersey. But we always gonna come back. Yeah, for always the gonna come back for Jersey. <laughs> Cap, we better end this interview. Just you know, give a couple words to the fans that might be watching us right now. Like, once again, you know, you can shout out your social media accounts in case they misunderstood or haven't get it yet. Mm hmm Okay, honestly, a word to anybody who does music and anybody who's trying to do music, just follow what you believe in. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do what you're going to want to do because there's nobody that could limit you. You would limit yourself in that way if you, like, know what I mean. You got to focus on your passion and just... Follow that dream, and once you get to it, it's going to be unbelievable, because anything's achievable in this world, no matter what. Nobody could tell you you can't do shit. And also, check out check out my IG, Coding Capital. Check out my Snapchat, my name. It's going to be somewhere in the video. You have I will make sure it's again. somewhere in the video down <laughs> below. Uh, and I got a Twitter too. Yeah, check out my Twitter, Dan Capo. D A M N Capo. Peace. Go Dean Capo. Thank you, Capo. I appreciate you, bro.